Folks, you know me as Yannick Terrio, host of Cigar and Whiskey and uh, TDC Moncton. And I've got a very special New Brunswicker who holds the heart of many uh, in the blues community and the folk roots community. His name is Matt Anderson. Um, my location details indicate that you were uh, born in New Brunswick. I know that the last location that you have on your Facebook page is Beardsville. Yeah, that's, that's where I was. That's where I'm from. Yeah, that's where I grew up with my, uh, my mom and dad. I live in Wolfville, Nova Scotia, right now. Oh, okay. Uh, so the, you're operating outside of Nova Scotia, uh, doing all your tours and everything else, correct? Yeah, yeah, I'm on the road pretty steady. Okay. Um, the, uh, the the first thing I want to get to is. Your new tour, uh, the name of the album and the tour is um, Halfway Home by Morning. And yeah. you, you decided to tour with the Mellotones uh, as part of it and then solo dates in Europe and U.S. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. Uh, was there an obvious choice or a particular choice as to why you chose the Mellotones to tour? Uh, I've said this before and... Um you know, we wanted to kind of represent what we recorded on the new album, which is, you know, a full horn section and all that. So, uh, yeah, the Mellow Tones are great. You know, they're a fantastic band. They've been together for, you know, 20 years or something like that. So it's, uh, it's a pretty easy choice, really, to be able to, uh, to pick them. And we've already had a rehearsal, and, you know, it's sounded and it's feeling great. So I am I'm looking forward to taking them on the road, for sure. Okay. Um, now, if we went back to the beginning of you, of your musical career, way, way back, uh, when would you say that you started uh, playing and songwriting and singing? Uh, well, I sang since I was a kid. Um, I started playing guitar when I was about 14. I don't know, you know I've been playing music full-time. It's like, you know, the only thing I've done since about 2001, 2002. And, uh, yeah, so I've been playing full-time since then. You know, music song I've done for the last uh, uh, 15 years or so. Okay. Um, out of... Um out of everything in regards to your music, I know that your first band was in 2000, 2002 under the name of Flat Top. Yeah. And then from there you uh, you started soaring slowly into the stratosphere with everything else that happened in your life. Uh, two, uh, you did 200 live performances in 2009 and that's not not without uh, counting the the uh, touring you were doing at that time, um, which is simply amazing. Uh, albums you have ten currently, yes. uh, yeah. and the last one is this one, which is releasing March twenty second, under Halfway Home by Morning, which I only have two teasing tracks that I've been able to play to my audience, but Something to Lose was one of them, and Quarter on the Ground. Uh, from what I remember reading, Quarter on the Ground was written on behalf of a family member? Uh, yeah, I wrote it about my uh, my Uncle Joe. It was kind of, uh, it was just going to be a song that I wrote for him, just for my mother to hear, but uh, my man ended up liking it, so we put it on the album. Okay. So on the new album, how many tracks are there available for listeners? Uh, 13 new songs. 13. Anything tied into social media or video or digital? Um, it'll all be available on the 22nd, yeah, when it comes out, but um, right now we have a video out for uh, Quarter on the Ground and Something to Lose and uh, another song called Free Man. Oh, sweet. Now, in regards, I know there's a video that just came out, um, Something to Lose with Amy Helm, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, yep. Uh, and here in New Brunswick, I know the, the tour is going to have you flying all over the place. You're going to be starting in the in uh, Europe and then coming back to Canada and then the U.S. and then Canada <laughs> and then yeah, yeah, back and forth. Yeah. Back and forth. I know that in this area, uh, at least where Moncton is concerned, I know that Bobby Bazzini is going to be part of it as the the uh, the invited guest. Yeah, he's going to be opening up uh, all the dates on the East Coast for me. Okay. The Mellotones are only for a portion, or are they uh, your backing band? Uh, they're going to be 
with me for everything in Canada, yeah. Oh, okay, sweet. Um, Matt, now, there is one thing I that I'm curious about. Uh, your influences. Because definitely, you st I knew you when you were starting up in the blues. And then right. things went tied uh, with a bigger opening where you decided to go into folk and roots uh, more than blues. But you must have had some big influences, especially for the type of music that you like playing. Yeah, I mean, for me, lots of different stuff growing up, you know, whatever my brothers listened to was a lot of it. Um, lots of classic rock stuff. I mean, I was a big CCR fan, John Fogarty for sure, and, uh, but I was a fan of, like, Eric Clapton and, um, you know, Ben Morrison and Ray Charles were always big ones for me, and uh, uh, who else, Joe Cocker, Bonnie Raitt, you know, lots of, lots of different people kind of, uh, I remember my parents listened to lots of country music, lots of Waylon Jennings, and Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson, and that kind of stuff, too. <laughs> Chris Christopherson is a unique choice. Uh, he's, he's got that type of voice that actually alludes to uh, fun times in regards to blues um, and roots and country and everything else that he decides to put his hand into. <laughs> um, in regards to the the uh, album's name, the Halfway Home by Morning, was there a particular reason for the name choice? you're a traveling musician you're kind of always uh, no matter where you are you're kind of on your way home eventually and uh, it's, it's happened lots of times you know you're, you're on a longer longer trip you know you leave a gig after a gig you're on your way home and you don't get there till, uh, till the next day so halfway home by morning is kind of a, a, a part of the reality I guess I would say of being a musician on the road okay um, the the um... I mean, there's nothing much I can actually add to the conversation. That you're, you're just a legend among people. Whenever your name is mentioned, people recognize you. I know that you won the IBC uh, challenge in um, 2010. You were the yeah. first Canadian to take home the top honor of solo and duo category at that time. And, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And from that day, after you released Weightless in 2014, uh, you started receiving Juno nominations for Roots and Traditional Album of the Year. And you also got uh, the Canadian Independent Music uh, Award, Road Gold, um, and six Maple Blues Awards for Male Vocalist of the Year. <laughs> So it, you've you've been soaring ever since. I mean, the, the IBC was kind of a springboard, but Weightless was really the the new benchmark that you set to yourself, allowing you to go to greater heights. Um, would, what would you say as a traveling musician and as a songwriter uh, that would have been the biggest hurdles that you had to overcome in regards to touring and trying to keep it all together without going insane or feeling <laughs> uh, really I mean that's the big part of it you know if you're going to do it unless you're going to be the kind of band that gets a lot of radio play you've got to uh, you've got to be on the road and that's always I've always done it you know I've always played as many shows as I could and traveled so I think that that's really it you know and some people that can be pretty hard on it's hard on everybody it, that's all how you deal with it but uh, that was definitely the biggest challenge you know is you know keeping yourself and kind of mentality like you said so you don't go crazy being on the road all the time okay so basically you survived right now are you doing 200 shows or more or have you uh, diminished it a bit to try and keep the flow on an even keel uh, I would say I'm playing less shows but I'm traveling further than I ever did before you know when I was doing 200 shows a year I was playing really close to home you know I play four or five times a week and uh, but now I'm playing you know I do longer tours or I'm out for two or three or four weeks but uh, you know I'm traveling further now I'm going to Europe I'm going to Australia and traveling in the States you know I'm across Canada a lot more so I'd say I'm on the road just as much but maybe not quite as many shows but I'm definitely uh, definitely traveling for as many days as I used to okay and during your traveling and on your off time any particular hobbies keep your interest or keep your mind flowing um, yeah, I've been uh, 
trying to get good at um, doing some meat smoking, you know. I've got a big green egg and trying to smoke brisket and ribs and that kind of stuff. So, I don't know, that's the kind of food that I fell in love with when I was traveling to the States. So, I was trying to recreate that when I come back home. Uh, nothing better than smoked brisket. Oof. <laughs> um, then, uh, well, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's tons of things I could add in regards to the artists that you decided to, to play with in the U.S., because I know Amy Helm is one of them. Uh, other than that, there's a bunch of other artists that are mentioned, at least five in total, including the Melotones, of course. Yeah. Um, did you have a hand in picking those artists, or was it just something that was mentioned by management and you went or what you went along with it? Oh, we always talk about that stuff. You know, no one picks somebody. You know, I have to be on the road with them, so I definitely have some. So to say, he was coming out and. Uh... Uh, Bobby, who's coming to the East Coast, you know, I've heard of his stuff before, and uh, yeah, I think it'd be a lot of fun. You know, I always like to show somebody uh, new to the audiences around home, and I've toured with Amy, and I've sang with Amy a bunch, so really looking forward to having her out. And Aaron Costello's doing his date, and she's fantastic. So, yeah, you always want to have some input on uh, who you're going to be spending time with on the road, for sure. Oh, well, I uh, commend you for your choices, and I hope that you're tour is going to go well. Uh, have you already started touring? I know the tour dates are out on your website. Uh, no, um, Europe will be the first, so that'll be starting next month. Yeah, and folks, if you want to know more, you can go to stubby, uh, stubbyfingers.ca for Matt's uh, tour uh, dates and also for any updates that he might be doing on the road. That's it. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Matt. It was a pleasure, and I hope to see you in Moncton soon. All right, man. Thanks very much. You're welcome.